Hey Fit Beauty Babes and welcome back to my channel. It's Jessica Fit Beauty. If you're new, welcome. I hope that you will subscribe. If you're coming back, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Japanese Kumadori collection along with some other Japanese items. The company that runs Japanese PR was so kind to send me a bunch of stuff to review. This is also a sponsorship, so I'm really, really excited to be working with them. And as always here on my channel, everything is 100% real. Whether I am sponsored or not, people who sign on with me know that this is just what I'm going to do. I'm going to be real with you guys. So if you guys want to see how I created this look and figure out my final thoughts on all of these goodies on my face, specifically the Kumadori collection, go ahead and watch. So first up, we have the Japanese Kumadori Marbled Sponge. I think that this little guy is so cute, and it really did get up to a nice size. If you guys have been watching me since last year, I did review two of the sponges that they came out with in a little kit. It was their black sponge. It was this size as well as a smaller size, but not quite the mini like the Beauty Blender. And I fell in love with them, so I'm really excited to try this one. Plus, I mean, just look how cute it is, this design. Yes. Now, they also sent me two of their foundations in 05 and 06. This is the Japanese Luminous Foundation. First, I'm going to go ahead and take 06, which is the darker color, and I'm going to put it in my contours. I'm going to go ahead and take 05 and put this on other areas of my face. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my Kumadori sponge and start working everything in. And this foundation has a really, really good smell to it. So the foundation is on. First up, I'm going to tell you this foundation is a light to medium coverage. I can just tell how it applied on my skin, but I think it is very beautiful. How luminous it is, it definitely kind of gives me the vibes of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It's very, very, very pretty. I'm super impressed. I haven't really heard a lot of reviews on this foundation, so I'm not sure how it wears. We'll definitely test that out as we go through. But as of right now, it definitely went on very evenly. I'm looking in the mirror. Nothing is blotchy. Nothing's pulling apart as of yet. It looks really, really good. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Next, we're moving on to eyes, and I'm going to go into the pixelated color eyeshadow palette. This is the palette here. It is so pretty. Unfortunately, this one right here did come to me broken. I was so sad because it really is so beautiful. But um, I'm going to go ahead and use these shades anyway because we're going to do kind of a more simplistic smoky eye. I'm going to go ahead and use this creamy shade right here, and we're going to put that all over the lid using the Japanese blending brush. And this is just kind of setting down my base. Then I'm going to go into kind of the brown shade. I'm going to use the crease brush as well. And I'm going to go in and start kind of blending in my crease. I'm going to go into 09, which is more of the metallic brown. And I'm going to use the same brush, which, by the way, this brush feels amazing in the hands. Such high quality. It feels really, really good. You can find all of these brushes at Ulta as well. I'm going to go ahead and take the ombre highlighter and I'm actually going to place it on my lids. I just feel like the shadow wasn't quite enough. So I'm going in with the detail brush and I'm just going to tap it on the inside. And I'm actually going to spray it with a little bit of their fixing spray. This is pretty much what I do whenever I stick a metallic all over. Definitely packing some more punch kind of giving me more of that look that I wanted. And I'm concentrating most of it to the inner and about middle and then just kind of letting it graduate out. But that is very, very pretty. Let's go ahead and jump into the eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Japanese Kumadori Metallic Eye Pencil. We're gonna start off with that. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I love that and it feels so creamy. Look at that. So dark, so creamy. It is a little metallic, but it's not like super shimmery. So that I'm loving. So I'm going to go ahead and align my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and take their angled eyeliner brush, and then I'm just going to kind of smudge this out. So it's kind of a messy wing. Now that my eyes are complete, I'm going to go ahead and jump off camera, put on some brows, do my lashes, and then I will be right back and we'll finish up with the 
Browser done, mascara's on. Let's move on to the face using the Japanese face palette, velvet face palette actually. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It is so pretty, really excited to try it out. I'm gonna start off with this contour color right here. And I'm gonna go in with the flat blending brush. This kind of reminds me of a brush from another company. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put it right into this contour shade. Ooh. That picked up a ton of product and I'm gonna tap it off. And I'm gonna start blending right here. Woo! Yes, that picked up some good color. I love this brush, holy smokes. Let's go ahead and do this on the nose too. So I'm gonna take a little bit on the brush. Let's see. Okay. That did a pretty good job. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the Kumadori Luminescent Powder is what the packaging looks like. And when you open it up, there is a mirror on the inside. Now I wanna say this is like really shimmery, if you guys can see that. I'm slightly afraid to put this on underneath my eyes, but I'm just gonna take a little bit with this Kumadori powder brush and we're gonna put it underneath here. We're gonna just see what that looks like. So surprisingly, it really doesn't look shimmery, but what it does is it definitely brightens up underneath my eyes. So I'm loving that. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back into the Velvet Face Palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this beautiful blush color right here. I really like that. Um, and I'm gonna kind of mix it with the peachy color next to it. And I'm using the powder brush from the Kumadori collection, and just tapping off the excess. So not much color came off on that, but let's see if it's buildable. So that's a little better, but I definitely thought there was gonna be more color. Now we're gonna jump back into the ombre highlighter using the contour and highlighting brush from the Kumadori collection, which this is so beautiful. All of these brushes, I mean, they're just gorgeous. I'm really impressed with the Japanese brushes so far. I'm gonna go ahead and just run it through here. And we're going to put it on the high points. Woo! Yes! Now I'm going to go in with one of the trio highlighters. This is 03. It's Rose Pearl. They sent three of them. And this color is so gorgeous. I'm also going to try out the fan brush. And we are going to put that over top of the highlight I already have. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I love this color. I really, I looked at it in the highlighter pan and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna love it, but I love it. It's gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the Japanese Makeup Setting Spray. It's an aerosol makeup mist. I already liked the way this sprayed when I sprayed it earlier on my brush to kind of pat on some of the highlighter onto my eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spray this directly on my face. And let's see if we like it. Scoot back a little bit from the camera. <laughs> Oh, and that smells so good. I'm gonna go back into the sponge and I'm just gonna tap everything in. Let's go ahead and finish up with a lipstick. I'm gonna try out the Kumadori Liquid Lipstick. This only comes in one color. It is called Metallic Red. There you go, pretty simple. And let's swatch this and see what it looks like. So here is the applicator, if you guys can see. Just basically like kind of a domed or V-shape doe foot applicator. And this is the swatch of it. It's a very moussey like texture, but it's very pretty. And while it's metallic, it's not obnoxious to me. So I'm hoping I'm gonna like it. I'm not gonna line my lips or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it directly on my lips. So that is one application. Wow, this stuff covers very, very well. I'm gonna take just a little bit more to kind of finish off my lip lines just so it looks really smooth and flawless. And then I will give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, so I've completed my lips. I was really able to get in with the applicator because of the way it's shaped. It kind of goes up into a V form to really precisely get around my lips. And I love that. I love a lipstick that I do not have to take a lip liner first and then a liquid lipstick with next. I just, 
I like to be more simple that way. I know some people are like, I just have to use a lip liner and there's nothing wrong with that. But to me, I'm like, if give me a good liquid lipstick that's going to have a good way to just really line the lips and then I can fill it in. And this was so creamy, so rich. It's dried down now. Um, let's do the kiss test and see if it kind of gives anything off. So just a tiny, tiny bit, and that's from where it's kind of touching the wetness on the inside of my lips. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I reviewed all of this Japanese stuff that was given to me, and even though this is a sponsored video, I do always want to give you guys my 100% honest opinion. So let's start off with the first things first, the foundation. So the foundation, after I set it with the setting spray, really dried down nicely, but it still feels a little tacky, which to me is not uncommon for something that's a little more luminous. I think it's very beautiful. I think that the price is right. You can't go wrong. I think it's pretty comparable to Giorgio Armani. I'm not going to say it's an exact dupe because it's not because Giorgio Armani has a specific technology with his. I'm interested in seeing how this wears all day long. I may check back in with you guys within a few hours here and I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, it's not separating. It's holding on really well and it still shows some of my skin texture through, but it makes me look completely even. Now the concealer was a wah wah for me. I'm not a huge fan of concealers in a pack like this or a compact like this. It's just not my thing. And also the color they sent me was a little dark. So maybe if they sent a color that was correct, I might have a different thought on it. Um, it just wasn't my favorite. Then let's move on to the eye palette. This eye palette is so gorgeous. I'm actually really, really, really excited to try some of these plum shades here. I kind of just want to swatch these for you guys so you can see. That was just one little circle on top, and that is so pigmented and so pretty. Let's see what it looks like on the hand. I mean, do you see that? I think this would be so pretty topped over a black. And of course, it's not a cheap palette, but it is very, very pretty. And I think if you were into trying some Japanese stuff, it's great. Now let's move on to the Metallic Trio pencils. Obviously, I only use two. I use the gold and the black. I am very impressed with these. I liked that they did give you a little bit of work time after you put them on so I could kind of smudge them out and not make them so harsh on the edges, especially for my wing. I wanted it to be very blown out, very editorial looking. So super impressed with that. I love how creamy they are and I'm excited to see how these wear all day long, but overall, yes to these. And the silver is gorgeous as well. So as we move more into holiday, I'm excited to try those out. Then on to the velvet face palette. I am in love with this contour shade. I think it is so pretty. These two blush shades were okay, but I think they were nice and buildable once they went on. I think their packaging is superb. It is definitely weighty. I like that. I like that it's all black, but I wish that there was a mirror on the top. Overall though, this is a pretty good product. Then moving on to the finishing powder. It has a bit of a metallic to it, which there is nothing wrong with that because the way it went on was so beautiful. I was really impressed with how it illuminated underneath my eye. I'll have to see the flash test here shortly when I take some photos and I'll definitely let you guys know down in the description box. Then moving on to the ombre highlighting palette. I am so in love with this. I think it is beautiful. I don't know why I haven't heard more people talk about it. Of course, it is a new product, but this is so gorgeous. And I mean, just look at this. Bam! So pretty. So pretty. So creamy. I am really impressed with how creamy all of their shadows and their highlighters are. And then, of course, the trio highlighters. I did only use 03, which is Rose Pearl. Very impressed with that over top of the ombre highlighter, which I feel like has all three of those colors in it, but I just wanted to give it a bit of a try. I have the lipstick, which, okay, Japanesque, please make more like this. This is gorgeous. It passed the kiss test. The formula is beautiful. It dried down, but it doesn't feel too cakey or heavy on the lips. It doesn't feel like it's going to dry my lips out. It feels like it's going to stay. It was more of a kind of moussey or velvety type texture as you put it on, which sometimes I don't like because they're a little cakey, but the applicator made it amazing. Then the finishing spray. Yes, girl. This finishing spray 
with the, the way it sprays evenly all over the face, how it set everything. It's just so beautiful. It doesn't make you look too dried out if you already have dry skin, but it doesn't make you look too luminescent. It's kind of somewhere in the middle and it is gorgeous. Then moving on to the tools, the Kumadori sponge, the marbled sponge. Yes, 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 yes. It's a great sponge. If you're in the market for a new sponge, definitely get your hands on it because it is also limited edition and it is so cute. Then the brushes. Every single brush I tried, I'm so in love with, but specifically these Kumadori collection brushes, which remind me of a much higher end brush. Do you know what I mean? They are gorgeous. They are great to add to your kit. I'm excited to try this for a foundation brush because I didn't get a chance to try it. I instead I used the sponge. But overall, these are gorgeous. They are so soft. They are natural hair, except for two of them are synthetic. So if you're not into natural hair brushes, these two are synthetic and these three are all natural hair. So you can kind of know the difference. And then the eye brushes that I've used for the first time, I loved. They blended so well, but they are natural as well. All right, guys, that is it for this review slash look slash a couple swatches here and there. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're gonna get anything from the new Kumadori collection by Japanesque, let me know down in the comment section. Also in the description box will be all of the links to where you can find these products. Until next time, we'll be seeing you soon. Bye. Oh three.